Hey everyone, Mitch here. Just want to show you a new way of hosting WordPress that may be a bit less painful and a bit more interesting and performant than current ways. So we're here at github.com slash mitchmac slash serverlesswp. This is a starter project that will enable us to host WordPress on serverless functions at Vercel, Netlify, or AWS. And some of the goals of this project are to make hosting WordPress a bit less painful, Maybe we can host a small WordPress site for nothing or very little. Um, we should be able to deploy WordPress easily. Uh, we should be able to use WordPress plugins and themes to stop reinventing the wheel. Maybe we can take advantage of edge caching to give us really fast websites. And maybe we can reduce the carbon footprint of our WordPress websites by hosting it this way. So let's just get started and create our first site right away. So we need a database. Uh, to get started, uh, PlanetScale is a great place to do that. They have a free tier and they host MySQL in a way that works really well with serverless functions. So if you go over to PlanetScale and click create, call this database demo serverless WP. And we're gonna put it in the US East one region. I believe that's where Vercel will put our serverless functions. So having them in the same region will make things nice and snappy and quick. I'll click hobby for the plan type, which is free. And then I'll click create database just to get things started there. Now we head back to the repository and I'm gonna click this button here, deploy uh, for, for cell. So we need to name the new repository where the uh, starter projects files will go. Uh, select demo server plus WP and click create. So that's creating a new repository in my account and copying all those starter project files there. So it's done that. Now it needs some environment variables and those environment variables tell WordPress uh, how to connect to the database that we're creating over at PlanetScale. So we have a, a little option here, connect to your database. We have to create a password for that first. And now we have some credentials uh, for our database that PlanetScale is creating. So the host, we have it here. I'm going to copy that and put it in our environment variable there. And I'm going to do that for all the other environment variables as well. So we have user. I'll match that up here in Vercel. Password, same thing. We're going to copy and paste. And then the database name. So WordPress will uh, consume all of these environment variables so that we don't have to hard code anything on the WordPress site. So I'm going to click deploy here. So Vercel is going to uh, create a new project uh, and, and use those environment variables that we just copied in. I'm just going to go back to planet scale and close this just to see. Yes, so our database is ready. So we now have a MySQL database ready for WordPress. And Vercel will be creating this new project. It usually takes about 30 seconds. So it's grabbing uh, the file sum in the repository and uh, copying the project structure into uh, the serverless functions that we're going to use. There, it says everything's done. Um, congratulations, you just deployed a new project to Vercel. So I'm gonna click right here. Okay, there, there we have the the celebration that we've completed the install. And we have a screenshot of the new WordPress site that it's created for us. So I'm gonna go there. Now we get the kind of typical uh, WordPress.org installation. So I'm just gonna call this demo. Give myself Mitch the username. We'll use the password that it's created for us. Uh, use my email address and just click install WordPress. So now we have WordPress running in Vercel serverless functions, connecting to the PlanetScale database to create the database to get things started. And we have a WordPress site. Uh, we can log in and now we just have a typical WordPress website, but as we can see, it's hosted in this .vercel.app domain. And uh, now we can kind of manage our WordPress site like we usually would. We can create content, um, creating or adding plugins and themes is a bit different than 
some hosting situations where we actually have to put those uh, directories into the repository. But other than that, it's a pretty typical WordPress hosting situation, except in this case, it's free, it's very performant, and um, I don't have to worry about uh, managing servers with WordPress on them. So I hope you enjoyed this little demo. Uh, I encourage you to give it a try at uh, github.com slash mitchmax slash serverlesswp. And please reach out to me if you run into any issues or questions trying to get it started. Thanks.